Hey y'all, welcome back to Redneck Cooking with Billy Ray. Now today for you we got ourselves a dessert. You see I got this friend, her name's Sybil. Sybil's one of the better bakers I know, and her specialty is cheesecake. First off, cheesecake's good no matter what flavor, what time of the day, or what time of the year it is, because cheesecake is mm-mm, yes indeed. Now, according to Sybil, her best cheesecake is caramel apple cheesecake she makes, and rightfully so, it's pretty dang good. But your old pal Billy Ray, I've been around the block a time or three, and I got some tricks up my sleeve that Sybil ain't ever thought of before. So today, we're going to be making Billy Ray's no-bake cheesecake. So to start with, you're going to need some kind of big old mixing bowl and some kind of pie tin. Now, I got a 10-inch version here. You can do it for nine. Do whatever you want to do. Kind of follow this. Use your best judgment. So to make our pie crust today, we're going to start off with a big old mixing bowl, some graham crackers, and I told you we are making cheesecake, right? So what I'm also doing, check it out, we got little cheese squares. So you start off with one cup of uh, pulverized up uh, graham crackers. You can use a blender, a food processor if you got it, or if not, maybe like a Ziploc bag, like a rolling pin and just beat it down. Either way, you want to get yourself one cup of graham in there. You're going to need a quarter cup of sugar. And the previously mentioned cheese crackers, we got a cup of cheese crackers. And what I got here is I got a cup of microwave melted butter. Now we're going to kind of throw that in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a fork. We're going to kind of mash it up, mix it up until it's kind of a, you know, a nice consistency. Then we're going to press it into the, uh, the baking pan over here. So let's do that real quick. And now that we got the pie crust all made up, next step is you put it over here in your fridge for 30 minutes. That's going to let this set up, and then we'll come back from there and we'll build our pie filling. Now the pie crust done chilled down. As you can see, we got ourselves the makings of our no-bake cheesecake. Now the next step is you're going to need yourself some no-bake cheesecake filling, right? So I got myself some handy-dandy no-bake cheesecake filling. And what we're going to do is we're going to prepare it just like it says on the box. So in the case of my box, I'm going to take this powder here, I'm going to throw it into a bowl. <coughs> Add on. Okay. And we're going to add one and a half cups of milk. And then blend that together. Now, i got a trick or three up my sleeve. So, after we get that done, here it is. I'm going to take this, and since it's a cheesecake, we got to add more cheese, right? So I got myself nine ounces of nacho cheese. We're going to blend this up, and then we're going to fold nacho cheese into our cheesecake filling. So let's do that right now. And as I said, we got nine ounces of nacho cheese, so open this good old can up. Set that aside over there. And in it goes. Because if we're making cheesecake, mm -hmm, we're making it cheesy cheesecake. Just kind of throw that in there, blend it on through. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't go for a full-on blend because I kind of like how it gets all like kind of artsy there. So we're going to have a little bit of cheesecake next to a little bit of nacho. So then we take it and we dump her straight on in. Do our pie crust. Kind of smooth it out a little bit. And now we got the basis for our cheesecake. So the next step is we're going to throw it on the over in the fridge there for another two hours. Now, that ain't how we're finishing this sucker yet. Mm -mm. So wait until we come on back and I'll show you how we finish her. Now it's been two hours and we're almost ready to serve this bad boy. We got two more things we got to do. Now, the last thing right before service I like to do, I have to take some hot sauce. This is more of a mild hot sauce, but we got a little bit and then we just kind of make a little bit of a swirly pattern, however you want to do it. Kind of looks like that. And then I take even more cheese crackers, get a whole handful here. And then I just kind of crumble them across to get even more cheese flavor because this is a cheesecake, right? So, more cheese on a cheesecake equals better. And there you have it. 
you got Billy Ray's cheesecake. And quite literally, it is a cheesecake. So we're just gonna cut our, uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that one handed suspended dude. So we're just gonna kinda go like that. Go like that. Get down in there. There we go. So there you go. And we got it here. We got our cheesecake. Oh, there's my fork. So we got the cheesecake with the nacho cheese, the hot sauce, the cheese cracker, and the grandma cheese cracker cussed. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you can talk about any flavor of cheesecake you want, but right here, this is some good stuff. Mmm. 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 Pretty sure I'm gonna give Sybil a run for her money on that caramel apple cheesecake. This is Billy Ray signing off. Remember, you don't gotta be fancy to be gourmet.